dusty bird. Where have you been? Get the goddamn number already. Who was that? I don't know. Actually, I think it was just some interference. So why don't we uh, change frequency to 14.158? Oh my god. Dusty bun, you copy? I copy, Susie Poo. It sounds much better now. Susie. Okay, so listen. Do you know Plank's constant? Oh my god, everybody can hear this! I haven't heard from you in a week, and now you want a mathematical equation. Susie Poo, I promise I will make it up to you as soon as possible. You can make it up to me now. I want to hear it. Hear what? Right now. Yes, now, Dusty Bun. Shit. I think Susie's quite manipulative. Turn around. Look at what you see. In her face. Holy shit. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Just give up. Give him the number. Constant is six point six two six zero seven zero zero four. Go 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 go. I can't believe we had to go through that to get this, but... Keys. Oh. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. Oh, God! I feel like we're never going to get out of this place. Meanwhile, still trying to break through. Everybody out. Everybody out. <laughs> yeah, they built this. God, he looks insane. Billy, Billy, you don't have to do this. Max, I don't Billy, think this is a good idea. Billy, Billy Hargrove live on 4819 Cherry Lane. Billy, please, my Max, can you stop? Oh, shit. Why are you all set down there? All set, but I've got some company which I'd love you to obliterate. <laughs> Three. One, two. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. This guy, like, he just doesn't give up, does he? That's Billy's job complete. Right outside scoops. Don't be afraid. It'll be over soon. Oh no, that's what he said to Heather. Very still. Oh my god, it's huge now. Oh, careful. Oh, look at him. Oh. He needs to get, he needs to get out. He needs to get back to the...
think Benny's going to survive this. I'm all right, sweetie. <laughs> By the machine, did they? You'll have to fill this place in too. I love that he's here, but he was too late. Oh, where's she gonna go? box uh yeah sure oh. what is that it, it's the speech i wrote for you and mike he never speech. told them yeah he never talked to you did he no can i read both sides as well something i've been wanting to talk to you both about i know this is a difficult conversation and that's why it's important that we set these boundaries moving forward so we can build an environment where we all feel comfortable, trusted, and open to sharing our feelings. <laughs> the truth is, for so long, I'd forgotten what those even were. He I'd buried them after everything place. was Sarah, I guess. In a cave, you might say. I left some egos out in the woods and <laughs> came into my life. And for the first time in a long time, I started to feel things again. But lately, I guess I've been feeling <sighs> distant from you. I miss playing board games every night. Making triple-decker ego extravaganzas at sunrise. But I know you're getting older. And I guess, if I'm being really honest, that's what scares me. But I know that's naive. It's just not how life works. Sometimes that's painful. And sometimes, it's surprising. So you know what? Keep on growing up, kid. Make mistakes, learn from them. The hurt is good, but please, if you don't mind, for the sake of your poor old dad, keep the door open three inches. <laughs> No. Yeah. Time to go. Oh, bless her. What the hell? Oh, this this guy's this guy's dead. This is one of the mentalist things I've watched in a while. Um, I genuinely did not expect this. So we had the kids at the mall trying to figure out a way to be safe because they knew Billy was coming. They knew the, the flail was coming at some point. And then we get Joyce, Murray and Hop coming to help out and then having to split off because we had to go do the mission that we set out to do. The plans... The that Alexi had helped put in place, it was a two-man job, became a three-man job. I loved the fact that Joyce went down into the depths with Murray and Hopper 
but I didn't expect that terminated guy to get there in time to stop them from turning the keys. And seeing that fight that Hop had to go through and then got trapped and Joyce had to turn the keys with him in the area where he, he wouldn't survive. And then for Murray to come along and be like, where's Jim? And then have to run for Owens to then turn up. And I was so happy to see Owens because I like Owens a lot. But just knowing that he never got there in time. Meanwhile, Elle and everyone are battling the flare with Billy and they're using the fireworks and Elle is able to get through to Billy. And he basically sacrifices himself so that the others can get away and survive and then Joyce closes the gate, everything kind of happens. That was heartbreaking. I really struggled to watch that actually. Like I really struggled to watch it. But then to see that obviously, you know, Joyce and Hopper had set up this date and then everything that had happened, she then still decided to move anyway. And taking Elle with her, I just thought was amazing. Do you know what her and Will could actually probably pass as siblings actually so I'm wondering if maybe it's something that Hopper possibly asked Joyce to do in case anything ever happened that she would look after Elle because I can imagine him asking her to do that and Joyce being Joyce would 100% go ahead and do it. And then we finally seen her let her barriers down. She'd obviously got to the point with Hop where she was like, I don't think the same thing's going to happen like it did with Bob only for the then to this happen. This poor woman, I feel for Joyce so much because she just goes through so, so much. And then Elle's realisation that Hop was gone was just heartbreaking to watch. And it was just horrible. And, you know, I felt so bad for Max losing Billy because even though that he, he did treat her like shit a lot of the time and he wasn't the nicest to her, she clearly, she clearly loved him. She clearly, she saw him as her brother, even though Billy tried to kind of distance himself from that type of relationship with her. That end credit scene, I was told that there was one, so I was told that I had to kind of stay watching once the credits started. I'm sure those Russians said not the American, so I'm thinking, well, who is that? Because a part of me thinks because we didn't actually see Hopper die and it just cut out, I'm thinking, what if the gate wasn't shut? And has he somehow managed to get in there before the machine blew. That's how I've kind of looked at it. So interesting. Seeing that there's now this demi-dog that became quite human, actually, at the end, that was quite terrifying. So clearly the Russians have got this other base in Russia, and I think obviously they've tried to open the gate there and it's possibly worked because if it that demi-dog had gotten through in Hawkins when they'd closed the gate, that demi-dog, the connection would have been broken, so it would have died so i'm assuming they've been able to open one in russia i have no idea what it, the hell they're even going to do in season four because we're now split we've got the buyers and l going to live somewhere else we've got everyone else back in hawkins we've got whatever's going on in russia going on and it's just mental i'm gonna say thank you and i will see you guys later so thank you